What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here with your daily GTA 5 news and today I have some great news for GTA Online and some uh, new and interesting stuff you may not have known, such as around 700 missions for GTA Online. If that interests you, be sure to stick around because there's plenty more of those awesome facts in this video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to press that like button and to subscribe for more daily, top-notch GTA 5 videos. So in an interview with a Spanish gaming magazine, Leslie Benzies gave away a couple of details about GTA Online which are quite interesting. A couple of things he gave away is that the camera will zoom out and pan away to your online character seamlessly, just like switching between any of the three main protagonists. Your character is going to be on that wheel there, and that's the fourth mystery character, I guess you guys were calling it, that if you press the down on the d-pad that you'll get to that character. During the animation, this is when the matchmaking process will begin. So there is really no loading screen for matchmaking you don't have to go into your phone to get that up all you have to do is press down on your d-pad and you will go into online multiplayer matchmaking will depend on which friends are playing and what people have ranks near you so that's a little bit confusing i mean will you be always put in with your friend how do you play with your friends if you just want to free roam for a bit like how is that going to work that's a bit interesting that it's going to put you automatically into a game with your friends and that with people with a similar rank with you so that you could rank up and grow together you can do almost anything you can do in single player in gta online which is great that means sort of some things from gta online will translate back to single player meaning that we have a lot of features in this game each mission requires a rank depending on difficulty and complexity. The bigger your rank, the more difficult the missions will be. Now this is an interesting concept, but it's a very logical one in that the mission should get harder to give you more of a challenge because things are going to get boring if it's the same thing over and over and over again. And with that, he also said that there are around 700 missions in GTA Online. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't mistake that or anything. 700 missions. And I believe they plan on adding more after too. So I don't think anybody's going to get bored of GTA online that quickly. Missions will be ordered randomly as you play online. So those 700 missions, yeah, they're going to be thrown around a bit. You probably don't know which ones are going to start, but I'm going to assume there's some order to some of them, but a lot of them are going to be random. For certain heists, you might need certain weapons, vehicles, or characters such as a sniper or driver. Now to uh, elaborate a bit on this, I don't think that uh, like you can train your sniper skills or train your driver skills like specifically like in a gun, but you can train your overall skills in GTA Online. But I think it means more like you're going to need someone to snipe from a distance for this mission. You're going to need a driver for this mission. And that's sort of the way that's organized and how the heist will work. I mean, in your department, in your property that you can buy on GTA Online, you can have a planning room. So this is all of where this is going to take place and that whole factor that's going to depend on the mission creator if you download the mission from the social club some missions are so complex they need plenty of good communication like i said in my 25 facts video you can yell and guards will look at you you can shoot and guards will look at you and that's where the whole good communication comes in and that's where the planning room in your apartment and property that's where you should make all these plans and get everything ready so that your heist goes perfectly as planned and uh, you don't lose people <laughs> So there will be descriptions to help each character on its heist function. So it all ties into the point that in the planning room, it tells you what to do as your character and what your role is. Now this is pretty interesting. You can change the weather, the time of day, what time you want it to rain, like what kind of weather conditions you want in the map, radio stations to be turned on at the start of races, and a lot of other things in the content creator. And this is in races and missions, which is very interesting. Now something I touched upon in my GTA Online analysis video, which if you haven't checked out, you should be sure to check it out. It's 14 minutes of pretty awesome content, so that'll be a link in the description. And so you're going to have team lives, and in that one I think it said six team lives. So if you have four people on your team, if you all die and then you all respawn and two more die, you fail that mission. You're done. That's how a lot of missions will be determined if you fail or not. Another interesting feature, again, I touched upon in my uh, 25 Confirmed Facts video is that in addition to watching the pursuits on the television, you can also watch races and death matches from your apartment TV. I mean, like, just in real life, you don't have to leave your apartment anymore. You don't even have to play Grand Theft Auto. You can watch other people play it. And finally, GTA Online will run on the social club server, so the data will be stored on the cloud, which means that it won't be directly stored onto your hard drive, meaning they could update things quickly and that you get it near instantly. And there are data centers in New York to San Diego and a bunch of other Rockstar Studios. So yeah guys, that's some pretty interesting, pretty awesome GTA Online news. So I want to know, what's your favorite part of GTA Online so far? I mean, there are plenty of details that still come out, but so far, what is your favorite thing? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. As always, be sure to click that like button and to subscribe for more daily GTA 5 news.
I'm also hosting a huge contest in appreciation of all your support. We just hit 60,000 subscribers a day. This channel is exploding and I really want to give back to everyone. So check out the video before this one. It's called the GTA 5 contest, something like that, and learn how to enter. Guys, I'm giving those prizes away very soon at 75,000 subscribers. They're going to start and they're probably going to be given away every day because it goes up every 5k and we're growing more than that every day. So be sure to check that out if you want to win and also be sure to check out my Facebook and Twitter, which are in the description as well oh and i want to announce one new feature i'm bringing to the channel guys and that's q a sunday and for q a sunday i'm going to create a facebook or twitter post so be sure to follow me on those you guys can ask any gta 5 related questions you know any questions at all i don't know what i'm going to keep it to right now but i'm going to answer a bunch of your questions in that video so i want you guys to submit them and i'll feature you in the video if i choose your question you can all see the next daily episode tomorrow at 6 p.m eastern 3 p.m pacific and 11 p.m uk time Thank you guys for watching, I hope you have an awesome day, and peace out.